you weren't so bad yourself. In fact, you were inspirational. Listen, so much here. Why don't you meet you at the pub and we can discuss this in further detail. Dr. Gale, please call attention. Something I can do for you, Dr. Scorpio. Sure, if you can curb your appetite just a little longer, you could help your patient. Jason just regained consciousness. Never doubted he would. While I'm duly informed, you can go about your business. I don't need you to hold my hand as I check my patient. Although it's more obvious every day that you want to. What did you say? You don't fool me. In fact, you're blazingly transparent. I can tell you everything about yourself in 20 seconds. Really? I would love to hear that. Feel free. You're smart. You're too smart for your own good. Your life happens inside your head, except for when you burrow out to work. You live in a serviceable apartment, comfy, but impersonal. You spend most nights at your computer, hunched over boring notes and endless slides. Your shades are drawn because you don't want to be distracted by the colorful Paris nights. And right before you go to sleep, you allow yourself one thought of the time you gave your heart and got it handed back to you, right before you knew the result and never take that risk again. How'd I do? You're an arrogant jerk. Well, there's a mature comeback. You know nothing about me and how I live my life. Which is irrelevant. The thing that matters right now is that Jason makes a complete and full recovery. So could you possibly tend to that? Or if you're too busy being pleased with yourself, I, uh... Oh yeah, I can go see if your father's available. He's doing well? He's referring to the job I did. How you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. Headaches seem to be gone. I'd be surprised if they weren't. Can I go home? Sorry. You're going to have to stay here for a few weeks. Weeks? That'll bring us into Christmas. Your boyfriend's alive. Christmas came early. And here are the rules. Bed rest. And I mean rest until I say differently. Once you're up, you have to be monitored and supervised. I can't, I can't stay in this bed. You don't have a choice. And if you don't follow orders willingly, I'll have you sedated and restrained. No, wait a minute. No, you wait. Okay, we opened up a brain that's a lot more serious than gallbladder surgery. I won't have you people mucking up my work by moving too fast and blaming me for the consequences. Which, just in case you're interested, could range from losing feeling in an arm or leg to something a little more serious. Like death. You may be a big shot outside these doors, but in this hospital, I give the orders. Your death would be a blemish on my record, and I'm not having it. Do you understand each other? Whatever. Good. Then I'll leave you to your company. There's no saying something about two being sufficient. Some bedside manner on that guy? Yeah, he's a jerk. But in this case, I have to say he's right. You have to resign yourself to allowing more care than you're used to or comfortable with. I promise it'll be worth it when you get your life back. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I've been better. I haven't had a drink since Jason's surgery. Not that I haven't attempted it. You're doing great. Who knows, I might even kick this thing thanks to you. I didn't do anything. Why, well, you didn't give up on me like everybody else. You mean Patrick? Patrick has his reasons. Does he have reasons for being so rude and obnoxious to everyone? I mean, for purposely upsetting people? Well, that would be me. My son is what I made him. Interesting theory. Too bad it's a load of bull. I mean, come on. Why am I not surprised that you're taking credit for me? As if siring a brilliant, though egotistical son somehow mitigates all the crappy choices you made and all the ways you failed everyone who ever made the mistake of counting on you. You don't get to use me for absolution. I am who I am because of me and in spite of you. Pay attention.
how much to get rid of you. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Everybody's pretty flat this year. Uh, you can always find somebody that's worse off than you. <laughs> hey, Santa. You want the cap? I'll take care of it. Bless you. Merry Christmas. Just trying to get rid of you, old guy. Mm. Make it rid of you that easy? Why do I even give a damn? I don't know. Why do you? You said that Noah has nothing to do with who you are. I don't buy it. I think he did something to you, something that was really awful. I know you'd love to discuss this, but like I said, I've got plans. Good night, Dr. Scorpio.